Okay, so it's time to go back to Gran Turismo 3. Today I have two events. Another two events. This time we have uh, again race of NA Sports and Turbo Cup. So now we have a professional Lego, but still we have those NA Turbo events. So for NA event I'm gonna use Chevrolet Camaro SS, even though I like much more Camaros D28, I'm gonna use this Camaro. Okay, we can buy any tune up and we cannot buy any turbo kits. I don't need to buy too much stuff. <laughs> of course I might have a feeling that this ain't gonna be the best idea, but to be honest I might have a Chevrolet Camaro SS which might have almost 600 horsepower and also the clutch, some other things that I'm going to buy anyway. No problems. Lightweight drive shaft, drive shaft. I don't know if I should use that full racing transmission, but just in case I might buy this stuff. Even though I ain't gonna use that so much. Okay. Now we just need to buy some lightweight. I mean, carry out useless uh, ballast that we have. Now let's just change oil. And we just got a... I can't really say that this is a Camaro race car, but still this is a vehicle with V8 OHV, 5.7 liters, modified to 620, uh, twen, uh, 612 horsepower. Sadly, uh, we can afford only over 600 horsepower at about 5,500 RPMs. One way or the other, I'm gonna use again this Chevrolet Camaro SS. I am not in a good mood to actually use Dodge Viper or rather Chrysler Viper GTSR Team Oreca or any other race car with naturally aspirated engine. Whatever, we have professional Legos, so I'm gonna move here. We have also Gran Turismo All Stars and All Japan GT Championship. But after any turbo, I'm gonna definitely finish those events I have here. NA Sports, we have Apricot Hill Raceway, CL Circuit and Tokyo Route 246. We can afford up to 20,000 for first place. And sadly no cash if I'm losing at the sixth place. Okay, high revs, a lot of power, naturally aspirated engines, etc, etc. All I know is that opponent, uh, opponents ain't gonna be so so easy to get with. Of course we have on the Prigotti Raceway Dodge Viper GTS, <laughs> Renault Clio Sport V6 24 valves, Honda NS6 Type S0 and two lightweight vehicles such as Motorsport LS and Tomikaira ZTS. Nice. For now I'm gonna try to drive fast without this full racing transmission. Just gonna check how fast this vehicle can drive here. 
I bought a lot of modifications and this vehicle have over 600 horsepower so winning this race ain't gonna be so difficult. And of course I have also racing super sleek tires so it ain't gonna be a big problem for me. As you can see, the only fast opponent I might have here is the Viper GTS. And seriously, that's, this is one of the fastest opponents that's gonna drive here. Not so much of high revs, but he also has an absolutely aspirated engine. Not really aspirated engine, but one little fail and his chances to be the best driver are gonna... something else. This is not like a Chevrolet Camaro Land Edition, but still I can say I have a pretty nice and pretty fast vehicle. Still, I kinda like more Z Z28 rather than SS version. Of course, the only main difference is the engine, but still. We have six gears, it's a very long gearbox. I'm curious how fast I can go with this gearbox. Sadly we don't have many upgrades to afford here and this vehicle I'm gonna have fully modified Camaro SS I'm gonna have more than 800 horsepower. We don't have test cores here so I'm gonna check it out now. But I'm gonna have some free time, I'm gonna check it out, see how fast I can go with this car. One thing I'm sure about, you don't need full racing transmission to afford 200 miles with this vehicle. There's also a similar situation to Viper's DS. The difference uh, between the fifth gear and the last gear is very big. Okay. Best thing right now is that I'm driving very fast. Even though I have not really aspirated the engine, I have a feeling that this V8 OHB sounds kind of like an engine for applied supercharger. Charger or something like compressor, just like in Mercedes SLK 230. I don't know if this is the same thing, so please don't get me wrong. Yes, it's seriously a very fast machine. I'm curious which vehicle is the last one, Renault Clio Sport V6 
or one of these lightweight vehicles. I bet it's the Renault Clio. I can't imagine seeing Honda N6 Type Zero as the worst car in this event. Okay, so the difference in power is very big. All opponents are away from each other. Racing super sick tires in professional legal is is the must here, I think. I'm just waiting for someone to actually visit the pit stop so I can make a laugh of them. I'm gonna laugh my ass off seeing that Viper GTS, for example, is a very fast car, I must admit, but also it is very heavy, so doing a pit stop ain't gonna be something he may not try Lab number seven. I thought something is gonna happen here, but I don't know why. Mostly is because of opponents. And also we are racing on a Pringles hill, so there is not much to see here. Luckily the next track is gonna be Seattle. It's gonna be very difficult somehow. Now I'm just enjoying something that looks like a Sunday drive. I think that's a good beginning and I really hope that also just like you probably this little Sunday drive now is gonna be a very difficult race later on. After Seattle we have Tokyo Round 246, so these NA Sports this NA Sports event have only one racetrack and two city city courses. Mm. 
I also got a best lap time. Why not? Okay, time to check out what kind of car is driving on the sixth place because I'm not far away from him. I am probably gonna get a one lap lead distance from him. He ain't really trying to get away from me. I got away from the track. Yeah. I was not mistaken. You may see it far away. I'm seeing it too. The worst vehicle in this event is Renault Clio Sport V6. Sure, it had 3 liter V8 engine, but still. I can't really say that this is the best vehicle you can get here. Well, sorry. Ah, I got away from the track again. Made some mistakes. Sorry. Yeah, Viper GTS finally decided to use a pit stop and make a little challenge for the guy behind him to see if he can actually overtake the fast V8 American Viper GTS. Let's check it out, maybe he can. Hmm, he actually did. No such luck because Viper GTS is very very close still to hold the NSX nice and I'm overtaking now Tommy Kaira the ass Nice lead distance, it looks like actually this on the NS6 type of zero might keep second place. I'm not sure about that, but I might say hmm it can be possible. Or maybe not. And a six type of zero decided to use a pit stop. Too bad. And also got one of the only distance from him to only my Purge Diaz got a chance to get away from me. So that was a nice race. Now it's time to move on to not a race track but rather a city course. So I'm gonna take my cash, 20,000 credits, and move on to Seattle for the next challenge. Okay. So now it's time to move to Seattle Circuit. Seattle Circuit, then Tokyo Route 246. I'm just curious what kind of vehicle I'm gonna get by winning 
NA Sports even because I did not have a chance to check it out. Too bad. Now we have very nice situation. Turns out Renault Clio Sport V6 was so bad that the game decided to replace this vehicle with Pagani Zonda C12. I actually had an idea to try Pagani Zonda C12 instead of Chevrolet Camaro SS, but I'm gonna use C12 for this next Italian event I'm gonna have soon enough, so yeah. Instead of that, I'm driving now Chevrolet Camaro SS. I'm gonna take out all these opponents on this very difficult urban CL speed track. I'm gonna drive very fast through this 10 laps and with this racing super slick tires I ain't gonna have a chance to actually visit a pit stop. Get out of my way. I can't really say that I might be a night rider because this is not a Pontiac Firebird and I don't have a black color but rather a light filter metallic which kind of reminds me of this uh, gold tan color or something like that. So I might have a better name for it. they a night rider but rather a I'm not sure about the name now. I had a green monster, which turns out to be a modified green for GT40. Okay. I took out my gun, it's on the C12. I need to drive very fast here and make sure I'm gonna make any mistakes. Yeah, because Apricot Hill Raceway was not so exciting. On Seattle, I might make much more mistakes. Many more mistakes, much more mistakes. I don't know. I don't care. Okay. I'm gonna keep this lead distance because I'm getting away from anybody else. On Seattle we have Pagani Zonda C12 which is kind of faster than Viper GTS. That's a very good thing. This vehicle is not driving so bad and this track is very difficult. Even though I have a nice lead distance from opponents, I find this track very exciting. Much more exciting than uh, because he raced with, which is simply a fast race track with few uh, slalom sections, hairpins and chicanes, and that's all.
Okay. I'm curious, Viper's DS is definitely gonna use a pit stop. But can Zonda C12 actually have a similar problem? Because this uh, Pagan Zonda had a better engine, better steering, but instead of that, it's also a very heavy vehicle. If I remember right, Pagan Zonda C12 actually had something like 1,300 kilograms And also unavoidable spins. Yeah, I'm making few mistakes here because I don't really care about the condition of this vehicle. Luckily, vehicles in Gran Turismo 3 can only have uh, overheated tires. Tire damage is the only thing that we might have worked here.
Okay. Best lap time, even though I did not care so much about it. That's very funny. Expect the un unexpectable or something like that. But still, I'm taking the lead. Sadly, I'm not pretty sure that I might have one lap of the distance from anybody of these opponents. Because right now nobody decided to use a pit stop. And I am pretty sure that Pagan is on the C12 is gonna keep its second place to the end. Pagani is more of a supercar rather than a muscle car. Pagani is the world supposed to be built as a supercar. Have 400 horsepower but also midship engine and some other good things applied to it. Yes, for example, probably on the third place, it's a muscle car. Have very heavy engine, have not very good steering and traction. So yeah, and also not only a heavy engine, but also a heavy body. opponent which is on the last place and that uh, might be very funny because this is Tommy Kaira the ass too bad he's actually trying to get away from me no such luck Catch up, Tommy Kaira BDS. It's time for another vehicle. I think the next vehicle is gonna be uh, Motorsport Alice made by Lotus. gonna be it.
Yeah. Orange Lotus Motor Tortellis. Get out of my way. I had to cut this video for a moment. I finally get back from work. Brought some beer from Ukraine. And also I got the best lap time at the end of the race, so yeah. We have Pagani's on the C12 at the second place, Viper GTS at the third place, Honda and 6 on the fourth place. Anybody expected something different? And of course, Motorsport Alliance made my Lotus and Tommy Kaira at the last place. It's very good that Renna Clio decided to not come here. Well, let's get this cash. And move on to last track from NA Sports event, which is Tokyo Round 246. I might tell you that some people in Ukraine have a good beer. Alright. It's a East Europe, what did you expect? Oh, now we have a very different state. <laughs> this time, Tommy Karel's ass was so bad that they decided to replace another vehicle. Instead of Tommy Kaira car, we have TVR Gribbit 500, probably a very fast, even overpowered vehicle, but also overpowered means not too much power, but rather it is overpowered for this body. Gribbit 500 have a very bad chassis and tends to oversteer much more often than any other vehicle you may have here. Yeah, you actually might have a chance to check it out when I was passing. S License Exam 7? Yeah, the popular nostalgia trip to Gran Turismo 1 because we have again TBR Grid 500 at Special Stage Route 11. Whatever, we have fast vehicles, of course also NSX Type 0 and 10 laps at Tokyo Route 246. And also it turns out that I did not uh, wanted this full racing transmission, I just bought it just in case, but sadly it has remained unused and I don't think I'm gonna use it, because Camaro 28 and Camaro SS have pretty good gearboxes, long range. Okay, Viper GTS is not a very good car for Tokyo. I'm just curious about the stats they all gonna get. For now, Viper GTS have a second place, but I know that Pagani Zonda and TBR Gruvet are gonna take this place for some time of him. So.
Okay. I'm just very excited. What kind of a prize car I'm gonna get for professional legal in a sports car event? Because we have TVR Private 500, we have Pagani Zonda C12, we might even get Viper GTS here, so yeah, the list is on. I might have a very nice price car, which is gonna be very fast, or I'm gonna have a car which is not very fast, but is not very popular in this game. Something like this. I'm gonna drive almost 300 kilometers and still I can't get up to the sixth gear. So I think this vehicle might have a chance to acquire over 400 kilometers with these modifications. It's the same situation as with other Chevrolet vehicles such as Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport or some more vehicles from this class. I actually had an idea, instead of buying uh, Pagani Zonda, if this Camaro SS would not be so good and so fast, I might even buy another Chevrolet uh, muscle car, which I like, and probably this is gonna be uh, Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport C4. Yeah, sadly we don't have a normal C4, we only have Grand Sport Edition. Grand Sport is not a very bad vehicle. Actually, the Grand Sport is the same as the normal C4, you just have Grand Sport with a special library and just few changes apply it there. No special suspension kits. I don't think it is this kind of car. Braking, braking, braking. I was driving so fast I got scared that I'm gonna crash into this, I might say, wall. Near the wall we have also tires. Even though we have tires set up there, we cannot get them away from the track. Too bad. We have an invisible wall close to these tires, barricades and some other stuff. It might be very funny to actually get out of the track just like in real life and then get uh, our car reset to the normal section I might actually like this much more but yeah, this is Grand Prix 3 it was 2001 don't expect something you might not see in the other game well, the graphics are the best for 2001, I must admit. Tokyo Route 246 seriously looks perfect. 
too bad that the Gran Turismo 4 made in 2004 and also published in 2005, <laughs> somehow it makes me laugh my ass off. Sometimes I feel that in Gran Turismo 4 the graphics were kind of worse than in Gran Turismo 3. Yeah, it's a four years difference. Okay, again Pagani's on the C12 is driving very fast. Got away from all other opponents. After it we probably have Viper's DS. I'm only curious about other vehicles. Did the TBR Grid 500 had a chance to keep up? Um, before uh, NSX. On the NSX is behind TBR Grid. Ouch. I'm driving very wide very wild and very aggressively. Best nap time again. Okay. For 30 seconds of the distance from Pagani's on the C12, sadly, opponents are driving so fast, there is no chance to acquire one lap of the distance from any opponent. And also, from the slowest vehicle, here we only have Honda N6 Type 0, yes, I must say that. Honda N6 is not a very fast car here. Also we have Lotus Motorsport LS, lightweight vehicle with not very much modifications to apply, so yeah. I only have about 4 laps to finish this race, check out the stats, get a cash, price car and move on to Turbo Cup. I actually had an idea to try out one of the race cars I got, but instead I'm gonna try a very, very unique vehicle. I might say unique because... Not only this vehicle is not very easy to uh, get it, but also sadly just like Ford GT40 and some other vehicles after the popular Gran Turismo 4 when some people from Polyphony Digital decided to get away all my favorite tracks such as Special Stage Route 11, Tahiti Circuit, also known as Tahiti D3 and Ta uh, this Smoky Mountain North, yes. 
I'm gonna probably use not Ford GT40 Mark, Mark. I'm not sure if this is Mark. It's probably Mark 3. But I'm gonna use Toyota GT1 road car. Yes, now you know what kind of vehicle I'm gonna use. Feel satisfied? This is gonna be a very fast car. I'm gonna be unbeatable. If you are a Gruvet 500, decided to use a pit stop, and it's actually on the first place. Okay, so after that, we have Viper GTS and Honda N6. Sadly, Honda N6 is at the fifth place, and luckily, it's not using a pit stop. Rather than TBR Gruvet 500 and Viper GTS. Popular cars from Gran Turismo 1 had a bit of trouble, don't you think? It is very funny. Even Lotus Motorsport LA has got a chance to actually get a chance to overtake a popular Dodge Viper. Maybe I could have a chance to acquire one lap of lead distance from some of these drivers. All I know is that Honda is... Honda... Not Honda. Pagani Zonda C12 away from anybody else. I just can't concentrate on driving here and saying some stuff. Okay. That is what I call a bad luck. This time, Viper GTS is the worst vehicle in this event. And I thought that again is gonna have the third place. <laughs> Luckily, I got a chance to prove that. Dodge Viper GTS is not a very good vehicle for Tokyo. I guess some people were right when they were saying power is not the only thing the car must have. Now on the M6 Type 0 decided to use a pit stop. So yeah, Viper GTS might have a 5th place, but this time on the NS6 Type S0 is also the worst vehicle on this, on this track. Because of this pit stop. I got one lap of lead distance from almost all the drivers. I just need to catch up to TBR Gravit 500. If I'm not mistaken, it's probably the next car I'm getting close to. And again, Pagani Zonda C12 got a chance to actually get away from me. This is very funny. Oh, this is even more funny. Turns out that this track is very long that even Zonda C12 decided to actually fit in. Ah. Little crash.
I'm gonna catch this TBR Grimmett, it's driving so fast. I might get, get close to him, but I ain't gonna catch him. Nope. No, I ain't gonna catch him. Okay, so let's check it out. Of course, Honda N6 Type 0 is in the last place this time. <laughs> but I laughed my ass off when I saw that Dodge Viper GTS have a fifth place on Tokyo. And that's all I have here. Again, I'm gonna take this 20,000 credits. And finally, I'm gonna check out what kind of price car I'm gonna get. Okay. Whoa, I'm getting Paganic Zonda C12S. So I'm gonna use this vehicle for this Italian event instead of Zonda C12. Okay, fine by me. This is a fast car anyway. So. Now let's take this other vehicle. Toyota GT1 road car. I really want to check this vehicle. Yeah, it is a road car, but you still need to buy a fully customizable suspension. Okay, all of this other stuff has been bought. And this other stuff too. You can acquire full racing transmission, which sadly have no difference beside of the fact that you can change the gear ratio, and that's all. And limited sleep will customize. Okay. Let's check out turbo kits. 700, no. 800, no. Hmm. I think that I think that over 900 is enough I might buy this turbo kit stage 4 because I guess that I'm gonna have test course in this race of turbo sports but I don't really care about that stuff so I'm gonna drive a very fast GT1 road car Okay, that's very funny. I have midfield raceway, test course, and again a Pricotti raceway. But I can get up to 30,000 for first place. Yay, that's great. Let's go to midfield raceway. Check out what kind of vehicles I might race with. And I'm also curious what kind of price car I'm gonna get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have Turbo Sports, mostly it is about fast Japanese cars, but also we have Roof CTR2, modified Porsche 911. Okay. Now it's alright. I did not want I did not want it to change oil to this vehicle because I don't really care about that stuff. So I'm gonna pass this event very fast and without any problems. GT1 road car I have can drive up to I guess 220, 230 miles per hour. So that's over 380 kilometers. And even this roof CTR2 ain't gonna be so difficult for me. The only problem is that I adjusted downforce.
the down for sudden just there was not a good idea for me. These road cars like Ford GT40, Toyota GT1 and Nissan R390 which I'm gonna unlock some time later are my favorite cars. Too bad that I also got abandoned and they did not come back after Gran Turismo 3. That's very bad. super sick tires so it ain't gonna be a big problem too but I think I should buy this turbo kit but not use it on midfield now I am overpowered These turbo sounds are very hilarious. They kind of sounds like not a turbo turning off, but rather a strange boost turned on. This over 900 horsepower, I can drive over two mi 200 miles per hour. Sure, I have overpowered car, but check it out. As you can see on the minimap, it is possible to prove that Rov CTR2 is much faster than all these Japanese cars. And what's so funny, these Japanese sports cars are highly modified. Yeah, I might say. They have a nice power multiplier, but instead of that, yeah, they could be very fast. I even thought that I'm gonna use um, a chance to race with Mines Skyline GTR. No such luck, I think. Midfield is that specific track which you can pass in about one minute. Japanese road version of LM vehicle is much faster than all of these Japanese sports cars and we all have 
nice modifications applied to our vehicles. Sorry Toyota, even though your GT1 is very fast, Supra RZ is not, is not too fast. And I am chasing the popular modified Porsche 911. Modified 3.5 V8 engine. I'm curious if this is the engine produced with collaboration with Yamaha. That may be a nice. This may be the good news for me. Because Yamaha got a very good engine for. For example, for Toyota Alteza RS200. Supra RZ is bidding in. Yeah, Supra RZ is very heavy in this game, so... That may be a good reason. I have a nice challenge, try to get less than one minute, but... Even though midfield is not a very long track, I still can't prove that this Toyota GT1 is that much fast. Or maybe it is. No, it's not. Again, I have 61 seconds. Okay. CTRQ is using a pit stop. Good message for all other drivers because they might have a chance to get kind of closer to this modified Porsche. I got a little crash. No chances to acquire less than one minute. Hot lap now. Oh, now all drivers are using a pit stop. All drivers. Okay, somebody got kind of closer to Roof CTRQ, I'm not sure who cool it was, but now I can see that CTRQ is getting away from this somebody. Ah, little crash, maybe not little, but crash nonetheless. Okay, that's very funny. If I'm not mistaken, that's Mazda X7 Type RS. Nice. Whoa! CTR2 is really getting away from all other drivers. And another crash. It's very difficult to overtake somebody when you're driving at high speed. 
well, still I can admit that Midfield Raceway is not a very long track. I got two laps of lead distance, I had a chance to pass even CTR2 two times. And that's all. 30,000 is mine. Now it's time to move to another track. And this another track is the biggest pain in the ass in Go Race mode in Gran Turismo 3. Another time I am racing on a test course. I'm not sure which. Which time is now that I'm racing on this track? What's so funny is that again we have Roof CTR2, we also have Nissan for Lady Z, probably two seater, again Subaru Impreza WRX, and also two vehicles which I did not want to see here. My Slance Revolution 6 with short range gearbox, yeah, short range. Even though it is a GSR, you have the G gearbox similar to RS version. And also Lotus Esprit Sport 350. Not so bad, but the gearbox is also not a very good thing for the test course. Yeah, I'm speaking a lot of stuff. Anyway, we have 10 laps on test course. We have Rove CTR2, we have a few other cars, but sadly CTR2 is the only challenge here again. Yeah, this time I might have a little challenge with this modified Porsche because Roof CTR2 can afford 200 miles. Luckily, my Toyota GT1 with over 900 horsepower can afford 220 miles. Okay. My finger again is gonna get hurt. And after test course, I also have Apricot Hill Raceway. My Slance Revolution 6 is at the sixth place forever. Short range gearbox. Yeah, fast vehicle, my ass. And also, we got other drivers the driver of this Sanford Lady. Of other cars. Oh, that's funny. Turns out that roof CTR2 can drive much faster here. So I'm gonna have to use a little trick which I tried few times. I may be a dirty driver, but you must admit, this is a good thing that I'm gonna try here. I don't think he's too fast. He's that much fast to catch me again. No, he is not. The lead distance is rising up. So he just had a chance to drive fast because he did catch the slipstream off me. From this section along, I might say hairpin, but This long section where we are turning around and driving the other straight. He is driving 210 miles, something like that. Okay, he is driving kind of faster than me. I should think about getting another vehicle for test course. Yeah, he's driving faster. He just got over 230 miles and I'm still driving almost 370 kilometers. 
Yeah. He's driving too fast for me. Whoa, that was a nice crash. Maybe get another one. Oh, this is gonna be a very nice glitch. He's gonna get stuck for some long time. Yeah, here you can really afford some good lead distance from him. He's gonna go fast somehow, but for now I must admit I'm getting away from him. I got almost 15 seconds of lead distance. Now it ain't gonna be so easy to catch me. And his tires are gonna get in bad shape. He might always use a pit stop. Okay, I'm gonna overtake this Mines Lancer Evolution 6. Whoa! He is a very slow vehicle. How much is he driving? About 200 kilometers? You freaking kidding me? And this vehicle was supposed to race usually on test course. Yes. Polyphony Digital, you made a big joke. CTR2 is getting closer, but he might crash into this Minus Lancer Evolution 6. So that's gonna cost me some time. How much time I have now? Okay, the distance is not very... Okay, it's getting smaller. So he is driving very fast. I could buy this Turbo Kit Stage 4 for my Rof RGT if I should know about the fact that CTR2 is driving that much fast here. I really hope that Rook CTR2 is gonna use a pit stop soon enough. I'm getting closer to Lotus Esprit Sport 350, another slow vehicle for test course. And luckily, yeah, CTR2 is very fast but have a big problem with its own tires. So I might get some rest. I ain't gonna use a pit stop, so I am lucky now. And he's so far away that he ain't gonna catch me in any. Th there is no chance that he might catch me. The lead distance is gonna be very big, very long. Okay, he just got me 36 seconds of lead distance. Now he might try to catch up, but I have three opponents nearby. I'm gonna use some slipstream and get away. I 
the juice comes that I ain't gonna race with. CTR2. On that Trikovsky Raceway. I'm gonna push him off the road. Seriously. Okay, best lap time. Okay, I'm getting closer to, I think it's... Okay, another time I'm overtaking Mines Lance Revolution 6. distance ain't so long now, but I must admit CTR2 ain't gonna catch me, there is no way for that My big finger is really hurt So I decided to use another finger, the pointing finger Yeah Try to drive like that when you're using a dual shock too. Okay. Whoa. The lady is there. Getting closer to, I think at least, Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Okay. Imagine driving like that, for example, in like the wind. Yeah, I'm overtaking Subaru Impreza. Still, I have 37 seconds of the distance. It's getting smaller on the straights, but again, I guess the CTR2 is, is just not a very fast machine when it comes to that. Seriously, it's not a very fast machine. It may be fast, but when it's using a pit stop very often, no. And I thought this challenge might be more difficult. Five seconds, but I have only three laps to finish this race. Too bad, CTR2, you got a very big problem with me and with your own tires. Another best lap time. Yeah, I'm using a slipstream and I'm driving the shortest way here. engine on high revs sounds like I'm driving a vehicle with CVT this special transmission without any gears or rather I might say with one gear or a manual mode okay the distance is really getting smaller still the CTR2 ain't gonna catch me so I'm just gonna enjoy my driving here, driving almost 370 kilometers and just make sure that I'm gonna I ain't gonna do any mistakes here. 
improved CTR2 got a little accident with probably with related to it. But I need that though. Let's check it out. Okay, it's still getting smaller, almost 33 seconds of leap distance. Another time for Moto Sass for 350. Okay, now CTR2 have almost 32 seconds, so when I finish this race it's gonna be almost 30 seconds so still this CTR2 should not this is a pit stop then I might say that racing with this car might be very difficult Something bad happened. Now I have almost 36 seconds of lead distance, so I think that he is gonna use a pit stop again. Yeah, I might say that this is possible. I'm driving very fast. every 100 meters in one second when you're driving about 360 kilometers it is possible yeah physics, math and now it's possible and also CTR2 again said it use a pit stop no chances CTR2 is very fast but this wheels problems are getting more and more hilarious now now I have less than one minute Almost one minute of lead distance. I'm gonna laugh my ass off when he's gonna go to the third checkpoint. This tunnel section. I'm getting closer and closer. Finally! Whoa! Almost one minute of the distance. Okay. I can't say that this is a very exhausting race, but rather... Uh, it's a big bunch of nonsense. Driving 10 laps on test course. I'm scared what's gonna be when I'm gonna drive in like the wind or all the other events which also have test course. I might have to check out some things. I'm not so good to drive like that all the time. 
Sadly, I have steering wheel with some other things. I have steering wheel made by Mad Cats, but sadly, no chances to make the gas gas pedal and brake pedal working. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should change to this left or right sticks or something else. That might be a good idea judging by the fact that I'm gonna drive a lot of laps. Here finally CTR2 is not here. Finally is not here. And I'm just driving with Japanese sports cars. Mazda RX-7, Toyota Supra RZ, Nissan for Lady. Last Revolution 7 GSR and Subaru Impreza WRX STI, my favorite cars. And I'm driving GT1 road car in Gran Turismo Concept. I might say that I'm driving an SXR prototype. That might be very funny for me. So, I'm gonna get back, take out this special turbo kit because I'm driving with modified one way or another modified cars, but still no CTR2, no RGT, no other vehicles, no mine Skyline GTR so yeah of course I'm driving 15 laps instead of 10 even though I had 10 laps on midfield well maybe it is because of the final track in Turbo Cup and they decided let's make 15 laps instead of 10 make sure that this race is gonna be longer <clears throat> luckily with these Japanese sports cars this is just a Japanese turbo racing gonna pick up hill they have modified cars I have normal Toyota GT1 road car TS020 I'm still faster than all of them aggressively and this race is gonna take something like 20 minutes I think again I'm gonna spend about two hours playing two events in professional Lego Japanese cars are highly modified. My stock Toyota GT1 race car is still much faster than all these opponents. That's hilarious. Thank you. 
bad. I'm driving very aggressively. Last time. RX7 keeps the second place. And four other drivers are trying to be very fast too. Revolution 7 and Subaru Impreza are not very good cars for this event. Normally they might be a very good cars for another event or just driving here. Now we have to lay the door to the Supra Z. Both of them are using a pit stop. Other drivers also had a chance to change tires. So now it's only me and Mazda RX-7.
I think he's gonna use a fist though. Nope, not yet. He's a tall driver. Less than 1 minute 12 seconds. Yeah, still getting good hot laps on this JWT1. Another best lap time. It's getting hilarious. Even though I have all goals in all license exams, I must admit I am not the best driver in Gran Turismo. Not in Gran Turismo 1, nor in Gran Turismo 2, 3, even in Gran Turismo 4. I'm not the best driver, but I uh, really like to play Grand Prismo games. Whoa! What the hell? This Delta Supra really got a huge accident. Okay, so he had a huge accident because he decided to pass this hairpin and got some problems. And I might say no more hot laps now. The best lap time I got was on the 8th lap and now front tires are getting heated up much more than I want. corner, the chicane, because I don't care.
tires are starting to get overheated. I can feel that driving this car is now more dangerous. Because I have to decrease the speed. All, all turns, corners and turpins. Get out of my way! Final lap! less than 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mazda RX-7 is in second place. Predictable. Then we have Philaid Z, Twin Turbo Citroen, Lance Evolution 7, Super Impreza STI, GD, 
if I'm not mistaken, and Toyota Supra RZ from 1997. Okay. Three laps of lead distance, 30,000 credits, and let's check out the price car that I'm going to get. And the price car is... Roof CTR2. Thank you. I don't need to buy this vehicle myself, I can just tune it up and drive 400 kilometers. So, what's gonna be next? Just like in Amateur Lego, I'm leaving Gran Turismo All-Stars, All-Japan GT and Gran Turismo World Championship to the end, so... Next time I'm probably gonna pass Italian Avant-Garde and also Race of Red Emblem, then move out to Wits Race and Alice Trophy, Clio Trophy and Tuscan Challenge. Then I'm gonna have some time in Mar March to pass Gran Turismo All-Stars, All Japan GT, then move on to Gran Turismo World Championship. And then I'm gonna pass Rally Events and Entrance Races before I'm gonna take part in all this S-License races. So these are the plans I have right now. So just to be sure, I, I did acquire two very fast vehicles. I got another roof, this time it's not RGT but rather CTR2. It's probably the same color. Yeah, the same. And also I got a chance to acquire Pagani Zonda C12S, which I'm going to use for this Italian avant-garde because you can uh, find one event where you can unlock the racing modification of Pagani Zonda, LM Edition made by Polyphony Digital, but I don't want to use that. So, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, you had enough free time and patience to wait for this moment, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video and have a nice day.